I was in aviation for 35 years in the Navy. Uh, got to fly off of all the carriers, fly several different types of aircraft, and uh, do a lot of operations around the world. So my passion has always been aviation. What you get out of as a Blue Angel is you go to Montana, where they never see anybody from the military very much, and they never see anybody from the Navy for sure. And they come out and they want to thank you and give you things, uh, you know, invite you to their house for dinner, because they, they appreciate what the military does all the time out there, but they never get a chance to touch it. I wish I could bottle that up and send it to all those folks that are in the Middle East and over in Asia right now. Burners, ready? The purpose of the armed forces to do what needs to be done to protect our nation is really what kept me in. And I was very lucky to deploy around the world and participate in a lot of the operations we've done in the last 30 years. Uh, and it's a passion. I mean, working with the people that are so dedicated to our country, the young men and women that, that you see and work with, it just, it just motivates you uh, every day. You try to avoid the Pentagon, but it wasn't successful at that. But I, I worked for the State Department as a, as a um, uh, treaty negotiator and worked on the chemical weapons and biological weapons conventions with the Russians, which was fascinating. Uh, I served with the Army for a year or two in Baghdad. I worked for General Petraeus in strategic effects during the surge. But after 35 years and um, a, lot of, a lot of hard work, but very rewarding opportunities, it was, it was time for me to go. Talking with uh, my family, uh, it was time to, I think, make that transition and, and start the next phase of our life and get a little balance in terms of uh, more family, more you know, kind of recreational time and, uh, and work as well, but kind of balance them out a little bit. Yeah.